So let's talk about this spread here. First of all, um, there is a water sign in your mist. So this is, um, I, I feel like this is more of an energy, but the water sign shows up twice here. So let's just talk about this person. So there is a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? Uh, sun, moon, or rising, and this can be male or female. And what I'm feeling is, um, for a lot of you, this person, you have a very strong emotional connection with this person and they know how to push your buttons. So I feel like you are emotionally destabilized as a result of your interaction with this person. And I also feel as well that sometimes um, they, they it, it's kind of like the puppeteer. They know the right thing to say to get you to do exactly what they want. I feel like it's the puppeteer. It's like somebody that can be emotionally manipulative at their best, they can be very warm, nurturing, loving. They they know how to love unconditionally, and they are very, very good at sacrificing for the people that they love. So this, it can also indicate like a maternal figure as well. So I definitely feel that somebody is uh, requiring some help. They need some help from you, or I feel that they just know how to push your buttons to get you to do what they want, okay? So I feel like you're feeling a little bit destabilized as a result, and you're also in a position where you feel like you're under their control. So somebody has a, a great, they, they have a, a great presence about them. So you feel as if you're under their spell, almost like you're under their spell. It can be somebody who's highly psychic and very intuitive as well. So a lot of you might be consulting somebody like a tarot reader, a psychic, a medium to get some type of a spiritual grounding or some type of spiritual answers or some clarity on a certain situation that has you like sh uh, shuffling back and forth. Like, is it like this? Is it like that? So there is a situation around you that you are very, very confused about. And you're trying to get clarity and you're trying to get clarity from someone who is potentially very clairvoyant. Um, at the same time, if you're not dealing with that specific situation, you're dealing with someone that knows how to push your buttons, that knows how to manipulate you for good or bad. Okay. They, they know how to, what to say, what to do to get you to do exactly what they want. So it's, um, I don't feel it's a positive energy, but I do sense that at their best, they can pull you to very, very uh, great heights. They can inspire you. They can give you a lot of emotional support. But at their worst, they can be jealous and, you know, manipulative. In terms of the work environment and in terms of the housing situation, uh, you have the Six of Pentacles as well as the Hierophant. So there's definitely some type of a financial assistance handout either coming from you to members of your family or from members of your family to you. I feel like it's from you to members of your family. You might have to ask somebody, you know, um, like a, a relative to take care of your children for a few days. You might have to like um, ask for financial assistance, but I do feel family members, family obligations, possibly elderly parents. And I feel like more of a mother vibe, mother, father, or yeah, maternal paternal vibes or even like elderly people like uncles grandparents and things like that there might be a situation where you have to sacrifice in order to take care of elderly parents okay there might honestly i feel like a lot of family gatherings and i feel like it might not be in under the best circumstances where there is money that needs to be given out to either one or the other party either coming in from you or coming out from you so um, it seems to me like this is a very heavy month when it comes to family obligations, okay? And it seems to me like it can deal with your immediate family or the in-laws. I feel that in-laws being a major source of contention and frustration as well. So you feel like you you might be a little bit picked on. So that's what I'm sensing here when it comes to in-laws. It can be a little bit annoying, but I do sense that um, don't go to family functions if you're no longer attached to the other person, I don't feel this is a situation that you need to be in. I feel like a lot of you are um, conforming or a lot of you are doing it out of a sense of obligation. And um, I don't even feel it's obligation. I feel like you're doing it because 
for example, you don't have a great relationship with them and you're, you, you might be trying to repair a rift and then it causes more stress, more strain for you. So if that sounds familiar, just, you know, don't put yourself in that situation. But I also understand it is your birthday time. So you're obligated to do a few things to do, to, to have like, um, to attend social functions, even though your heart's not in it. A lot of it has to do with the professional front as well. So, you know, like somebody throwing a, a birthday party or some type of gathering at work, and you feel like you have to be there out of courtesy. So that there's like, basically, it's social pressure forcing you to conform. Social pressure forcing you to conform, especially in the work environment, okay? And... Um, I feel that you can, you know ways to get yourself out of this situation or if you must go, come early, leave early rather than be the last person to stay because I feel like that's when the, the uh, when people over drink or when the alcohol starts flowing, then it becomes, um, people are less censored and, and that creates opportunities for conflict, okay? So that's how you deal with that situation. But I, I see like some family members potentially coming back in needing help. So in terms of the dating front, I feel like for those of you who are newly single, you could be celebrating or you could even be like uh, dealing with a water sign. So once again, this is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon or Rising. And I feel the Three of Cups is a very, very good social dating card. It's also a very good celebration card. There is a, um, a very strong vibe here that indicates to me for a lot of you, I see mother and father. So a lot of you, you're meeting your match for this month. You're meeting your match. We have the king and the queen show up. And that's usually a very, very good pair. You have a very strong emotional it's almost like a karmic bond, like a, a soulmate type of a connection with another person. And I do feel that this person and you will have an opportunity to go on a date, to like physically be in the present moment with one another. And as a result of it, I feel that you will actually um, be very, very happy with this kindred spirit, okay? Keep in mind, soulmate connections are not supposed to last a lifetime. And when they do, they're very harmonious, but they also bring about a lot of um, challenges, challenges that force us to grow. So they're not like completely, um, you know, completely like trouble free. OK, there's a lot of learning that needs to happen from both parties. I honestly feel that one of you might be attached, OK, because we have the three of cups, which indicate more like a third party and the king of cups. So there is somebody in your midst that you feel is like your kindred soul is the person that you are meant or destined to be with. But I feel like you might be married, they might be married. There is like a, a cord of attachment um, associated with either you or them that's preventing the situation from getting off the ground, okay? So I feel like if you are dealing with somebody who is potentially in a marriage situation or attached to somebody else, you might really care about them. You might really want to be with them because you feel this tangible bond between the two of you where you might like have dreams about them, where you might like, you know, heavily fantasize about them. But I feel like you're distracting yourself, dating other people and the, the other people, like I said, their options, they're just, you know, very minor characters in the greater, um, uh, I guess, like performance here. So they're not really meeting all your expectations because you put this pe person on a pedestal. You feel like this is the kindred soul. So I feel a lot of social dating, and but I do feel like for for a lot of you, this water sign or this person that has these qualities where you feel this very strong karmic tie with them, you haven't dated them yet, but I feel like there's third parties interfering or you're dating, socially dating, you're trying to date, but this person is like preoccupying your thoughts in your mind, okay? It could be male or female as well. It doesn't have to be a male. Now, in terms of um, your dream state, so I mentioned earlier um, having dreams about a kindred spirit, okay? So the Six of Cups does indicate a situation where we have a past life connection with another person, and it brings about a very strong soul connection. So there's a lot of chemistry 
there's a lot of like um you know dreams and and like that sense of um that sense of like recognition when even when you first meet so i feel like there this is a very serendipitous month for a lot of you where you have a lot of um, past life like flashbacks coming through from your dreams you also have a lot of divine like um messages coming through to for you in your dream state so it's really important for you to get enough rest okay what i'm also feeling is that for those of you who have children there's a lot of concerns over children either health issues or you know uh them having nightmares is what i'm feeling so just um you know keep them by your side or you know stay i feel like a lot of you might be losing sleep mainly because you're concerned over a child and um especially for for those of you who have like um i feel like getting pets or animals would be very good if your children has um if your child or if your children have anxiety getting pets getting um you know some type of a cuddly animal um would be very good as like a form of therapy for your children if they have anxiety or if they have like um if they have trouble connecting with um their environment so that could be you know autism and things like that but i do feel that it would be very good for you to get them pets okay um, I know it's a lot of responsibilities and you're not sure if this can be um, accomplished, but I definitely see some concerns regarding children and especially in your dream state too. I do feel like a very strong soul connection and also like um, a lot of you might also be wanting to have children as well. Um, I'm also getting the message that it's like praying for for um, pregnancy, praying for pregnancy coming through with this spread here so in terms of your advice let's go through this very quickly um we have here the ten of pentacles the world and the six of swords now the ten of pentacles is a card about financial abundance so i feel like for a lot of you you're not going to have to be so concerned about money and i feel like money was a, a running issue within the past few um this was like i feel and at this point things are going really really well for you and you are as well going to be able to get a lot of help from your family members. Like I said earlier, family members might ask for help or you might be the one to ask for help from family members. I do feel a lot of you have very generous parents, especially father figures, that can be able to help you greatly on the financial front. He can also help you on the uh, work front, like networking, um, meeting social contacts, introducing you to, to the right people that can boost your resume or that can accept you in terms of jobs, okay? So I feel like you are hesitant about asking for help, but if you are struggling, if you are, you know, if you are looking for a job, just, you know, casually say, if you can name drop them, casually ask if you can name drop somebody in your family in, in an interview in order to land a job um i don't recommend it but i feel like if you're in a situation family members name dropping a couple family members i feel might be helpful for you in landing that job so either way we have some ge the generational wealth situation here where there is um some type of a um some type of an event where family members are all coming together so I definitely feel that sense of family loyalty, you know, sometimes family members can be very difficult to deal with because they're some of the most karmic relationships that we would have, we have. I feel for a lot of you, you have closed some doors on some family members that might have been very toxic or you have lived far away from family members. And I feel like this is the month in which everyone comes back together. There's reunion when it comes to like children, family members. There's like, I feel like more of a mom and dad vibe with this queen and the king of cups. I feel the hierophant indicates, you know, tradition, getting back to some type of a tradition, family reunions. And um, one of the things that I'm, I'm inclined to say is that a lot of the times, you know, we travel into the world. We have the world card here. This is a card about travel, expansion, philosophical like um, expansion, but also like religious philosophical expansion, um, seeking higher knowledge, expand, expanding our knowledge base. Okay, a lot of the times, Gemini's, um, you are like the the jack of all trades. You have a lot of um, just um, 
areas of expertise, you are very progressive in the way that you think. And I, I honestly feel like there's that element here of feeling very stifled by your family members because um, you feel, a lot of you might feel as if the family members might have resided in a, a town and they might have been there for many generations. So you feel like I have to break out of it. And I feel like this is the month in which you are starting to realize um, and it goes both ways. So I feel like one ways in which it can play out is that um, you are realizing that, you know, family baggage, family cultural traditions and things like that have really held you back and have really like um, really, I guess, like stunted the way that you look at the world. OK, um, the other way that I'm, I'm sensing here is that you are overcoming a lot of differences within the family unit. So that means to me a lot of reconciliation happening with the family members. And um, I see some major event happening this month that is bringing everybody back together. So there's that sense of reverting back to a familiar state of being. There's that sense of reconciliation. There's that sense of coming together, letting go of our differences and just coming together for this one major event where everyone takes care of one another. So that sense of familial love is definitely returning for a lot of you. You might have gone off into the world. You might have traveled, expanded, you know. Um, and then you realize that, um, and, and just, you know, your life could be just going ju just totally fine. But I feel like once in a while, getting back in touch with your roots, you're starting to realize that, okay, it's really important for me to, to um, you know, know and understand where I come from so that I know which direction I want to go. So I feel like smoothing over, this is once again, transitioning from a very, a place with very choppy water into a safer haven, okay? So I feel like for a lot of you, the, 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 uh, whatever disparities in, ideology, philosophical beliefs, you know, political, religious stamps that you have with uh, family members, um, they're being smoothed over. What I'm also sensing is by getting back to your roots, by spending time with your family members, you are going to get some spiritual guidance about where you need to be. I feel that message coming in for a lot of you because Geminis, you are the, the, the jack of all trades. And um, a lot of the times, you know, you scatter your energy because you're trying to find, you know, there's so many things that you're good at and so many things that you're interested in. And, you know, your eyes dart from one thing to the next and you feel almost like, uh, what is my purpose? A lot of you are asking this question, you know, I want to expand. These are all the things that I want to do. But what is my purpose? What is my goal here? And I feel like if you're trying to find that spiritual, you know, reason for living, or if you're trying to find what is like my spiritual path, getting back to the family unit is going to provide some really good insights for you because we don't know where we're supposed to be unless we know where we come from. Okay. So that is a, a, a bit of a cliche message, but I feel like that's what it's telling me. And that's the overwhelming, you know, message that I feel is going to hopefully resonate with a lot of you. I feel that in the past, there was this constant need to escape the family unit because it was restrictive. It was potentially um, filled with a lot of people with really harsh criticism, with a lot of opinions. You come from, I feel like a lot of you come from a very opinionated family, you know, where everyone had to give in their uh, their two cents. Everyone knows everybody else's business. It could even be a small town where everyone knows one another and, you know, everyone gossip. So, you know, there was this overwhelming need in your 20s and 30s to just get out of Dodge and uh, start your life and, you know, come home for the holidays, but that's it. So I feel like for a lot of you, there's this need to like return to the, the nest. And um, I feel some major family events and it could just, you know, be your birthday where all your family, your entire family unit is shifting from where they are to come visit you where you are. And you're, I feel like it's going to be a very positive experience if you let it become a positive experience. So don't cross it off your list. Don't, um, 
don't knock it until it happens okay so don't um don't put a damper on it because i feel like it's a it's a very great spiritual lesson it is also a very uh it's going to provide you with some really good insights about what you need to do in order to advance forward either in your career or in your you know the next phase in your life where you want to go where you want to live so that's going to be very important as well i feel for a lot of you and this message specifically is going to resonate with, you know, a few people. I, I feel like a very small minority, maybe just one person. But um, a lot of you are, I feel, are kind of torn. You're either thinking about a helping profession. So I feel like that might be social work. That might be substance abuse counselor. That might just be um, working in physical therapy for some some of you. And then you get sidetracked and you're in more of an institutional capacity where, you know, you might own a restaurant, you might own like some type of a shopping mall and you're making a lot of money. You're, you're like really, you know, on top of the game, you're in a position of authority. And then you realize that you go back to your family members and they tell you, you know, do some work that is meaningful. You don't have to make money. We don't need money but do work that is meaningful for you. So I feel like a lot of you might do a 180 when it comes to your career track based on something that, you know, the elders are telling you, parents, or um, base, based on going back to visit the community that you grew up in or you grew up with, I feel that it's going to spark some passion in you regarding being of service to others and pursuing a career path that can allow you to serve others. Others, 